The island kingdom of Tonga is a proud Polynesian nation located in the South Pacific Ocean. But like its island neighbors, the geographical and socio-economic landscape of these friendly shores also make it vulnerable to the impacts of climate change and disaster risks. Sea level rise and increased soil salinization reduce the suitability of agricultural land for gardening. Natural disasters severely affect crop production and food security, which in turn severely impacts the people of Tonga and their livelihoods. And scientific evidence suggests that these impacts will be exacerbated by future climate change. In 2012, the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, in partnership with the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, SPC, and the Ministry for Agriculture, Forestry, Food and Fisheries, MAF, agreed to support the implementation of a regional project called the Vegetation and Land Cover Mapping and Improving Food Security for Building Resilience to a Changing Climate in Pacific Island Communities. The project is currently being implemented by six Pacific Island governments, including Tonga. One of our, um, our functions or uh, the responsibilities of the ministry is um, to ensure of the food security and nutrition for the people of Tonga. At the same time, we look um, at ways where we can assist the people, particularly the ones in the, um, the vulnerable ones and all the, in the grassroots to you know to have an extra income that could assist them uh, with their you know obligations and uh, also with the families and livelihoods. With the climate change, um, we have uh, the droughts. Yeah, it was many the years sometimes, but now we you know we have we have noticed that it, it is common now. So I think it, with this uh, coming of these um, uh, projects here yeah, is very important to the people, particularly with the people in this community. Food security is a, is a, is a major issue that the United, States, the United States takes very seriously. And it's one that has a lot of factors that go into it. But with regards to climate change, there are meta forces at work here that are dramatically affecting the productivity of people who don't have the adaptive capacity or the resources to uh, adapt to those changes. And so that's, the, that's when we talk about the term resilience. With technical support by SPC, the project is supporting Tonga to adapt to climate change by working with selected communities in Tongatapu, Ewa and Vavau to establish community nurseries, agroforestry demonstration farms, and chicken facilities and piggeries for households to increase and diversify terrestrial food production systems. To address sustainability concerns, SPC is using participatory, hands-on training approaches to build communities' adaptive capacity. The adaptation strategies for Tonga revolve around first uh, trying to, to improve the cropping system, looking at the farming system or agroforestry. What can we do to improve agroforestry? So what they are suggesting to us was if we introduce trees to the system, that will help uh, improve the system. But in some places where the, the, the soils are a bit run down, we are also in, in, introducing uh, cover crops that will improve the, the, the soil fertility. And then we, we found out that because they, they rely on, uh, even in, 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 in the rural areas in Ewa and Wawao, they rely on, on imported food still. So we, as a strategy for, for that, we are trying to to improve their production of, of domestic animals, like improving their chicken keeping and, their, and, and the pickery. Soane Hamala rises early each day and sets to work straight away at his home in Kolonga village on the main island of Tonga Tapu. Pigs hold great value in Tongan culture, and this is how the 53-year-old widower and father of five earns his living. This piggery unit that houses his investment is only a few months old, but for this family, it's the realization of a lifelong dream. Before the, the, the normal type of piggery uh, in Tonga, we just use a wire, uh, um, chain link wire. 
to defend the, the pigs. But uh, that's maybe after a couple, few years, maybe two, three years, and then the pigs damage the piggery. And then the, at the same time, they allow the pigs roaming around. It is illegal now to to do that, uh, have pigs roaming around because they're doing a damage to uh, crops, ruin the environment. At the same time, the poultry shed type uh, allow the chicken to catch uh, roosting in the inside the house uh, during the night time, and so an area, a nesting area, so that they can lay eggs, um, not being uh, eaten by the roaming pigs or cats or dogs. So it's, it's uh, quite helpful and easy for you to collect the egg. In recent years, long dry spells have taken its toll on crop yields. With technical assistance from MAF and SPC and the provision of climate resilient planting material, Hamala has also been able to cultivate an agroforestry demonstration farm. It's very dry. It's very hard to grow. So you have to plow the land. You have to plow the land before you plant something around this area. But before we can come and clean up the around under the trees and you plant it. But these days, no. You have to prepare it well and plow it before you're planting something. So I start preparing uh, this piece of land for the plant that he given to me to plant. And that's why I plant this uh, giant taro here. Because I know it is going to be we are moving to the dry season, going to the summer. So we have to, to plant something that can survive longer when it is dry. Kolonga village is one of three project sites in Tonga. The outlying communities of Tefisi on Vavau and Hauma on Ewa are also receiving support through the project. Hauma on the northern side of Ewa Island is home to 270 people. So far, five poultry sheds and two piggeries have been erected at selected households here. And serious efforts are underway to improve and increase the production of fruits, vegetables and crops in the village. This communal nursery houses at least five varieties of crop seedlings, which are freely distributed to families for their backyard gardens, which is another strategy to promote and increase local terrestrial food production. Lettuce, carrots and tomatoes, among other crops, fill Mele Finau's recently established garden plot. A mother to six children, for Finau having a backyard garden makes perfect sense. Right now in my home I have eight, um, six chicken, include me and my husband. Um, I can't afford to buy two kilo chicken for, like we're having dinner with the, together, the family. But now I... I can afford to buy only one kilo chicken, then I mix it with the vegetable and it's um, big enough for us to have it. This is a good enough, um, very good, and it's helpful for me. Because um, before, maybe the other people, they can afford to buy vegetable from the market. And for me, I can't. That's why I can't have a healthy eating, because I can't afford to buy vegetable from the market. But now it's... Um, helpful because I have a healthy uh, eating for my family even though I can do the plantation at home by my own and um, it doesn't cost anything. In the Pacific, 75% of all deaths annually are attributed to non-communicable diseases or NCDs and because NCDs often result in premature death, they contribute to poverty and lower workforce productivity which in turn affects national development. That's why community involvement and ownership is a vital component to the success of the project in Tonga. At the Hauma Community Hall, a much-anticipated cooking demonstration is underway to encourage families to utilize vegetables as part of maintaining a healthy diet. Tonga is one of the, um, the countries of, in the Pacific which have been affected by NCDs. And uh, we have been trying to encourage the communities, particularly with the women, you know, to grow vegetable gardening for their um, um, for the home consumption, for their meals. At the same time, when they have uh, um, excess and they have uh, extra, then they can sell them for, you know, extra income, which could help with the families and the livelihoods. But I think it's important too to 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 make sure that and to for the women to that you know it that it comes 
from the garden to the table where he can, uh, she can prepare meals for the families and also for the kids. Among those present at today's cooking demonstration is Anna Mafi Latukula, chairperson of the Fangatave Women's Group. With seedlings sourced from the communal nursery, the group was able to grow its garden across the road from the village hall. Training on the tools and techniques required for producing better and more resilient yields have not only been limited to the individual households and informal community groups. Hango Agricultural College on Ewa Island serves as an important institution not only for the remote islands of Tonga, but for the whole region as well. We have a, uh, a project with uh, SPC for the uh, agroforestry. Yeah? So we have uh, a plant, uh, um, coconut trees and uh, uh, sandal woods. And then uh, between, uh, between them, we have to uh, intercrop with uh, uh, different kinds of crops, like uh, cassava, matalotonga, and uh, uh, yams. What we have seen that uh, maybe after 10 years, so uh, we will get more out of it. As with the rest of the Pacific, sweeping climatic changes have hit Tonga's shores. But with the right approach, tools and understanding, those that call these friendly islands home can resiliently adapt, prepare and effectively respond to these changing times.